For eight seasons, MTV has brought us a drama, sometimes peacemaking and definitely funny moments when it comes to its hit show, Catfish. And there's a whole new season coming up tomorrow night on MTV. And here with us now to talk all about the season, the new one, season <laughs> nine now, is one of the hosts, Neve Shulman. Thanks so much for being here, Neve. It all started in 2010 with your documentary, Catfish. Did you ever think it would be such a mega success? You know, absolutely not. I'm still in shock that I get to continue riding this wave uh, that started, like you said, back in 2010. In fact, I think it's fitting that we're speaking because my, my dream, uh, which partly is what caused me to get catfished, was to fall in love with a girl from Michigan, uh, <laughs> except it was the UP. And when I went there I, I, up to Marquette and met her, I discovered it wasn't her. But in the end, I did sort of get a version of my fantasy because I ended up meeting my now wife, who is from Detroit. And so I got to give a shout out to Detroit and to my father-in-law, Bruce, and, and mother-in-law, Karen, because they're the best, and I, I love it up there. So it's nice to speak to you guys. Oh, I love it. That. Hey, Bruce and Karen. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. Now, Neve, I've, I've been watching from the beginning, and I feel like when you started this, it was really also the start of social media. You've kind of, like, gone along with the trends of how people have been behaving on these sites. But a lot has changed. So how has catfishing evolved over the last several years? Yeah, well, obviously, you now have a lot more tools at your disposal if you want to deceive someone. Uh, it's easier to get photos or videos off the Internet. We've had cases where, if, I don't know if you're familiar with the, um, the app where you can order videos from celebrities. So people, one person who was pretending to be a sort of young athlete celebrity ordered a video from them as if it were for the person they were talking to to sort of help make it seem more realistic that it was actually them that they were talking to. It's pretty pretty wild now that the, the sort of things that, that we have available to us. But on the flip side, there's also more tools available to help people hopefully research and discover the truth. So we try to, you know, always inform our viewers what is available to them should they find themselves in a relationship that is a little bit uncertain. It's also a very educational program. You might not have thought so, but it is. So, can learn a lot. Neve, what can folks expect this season? And maybe what's your most shocking catfish situation you've worked on? Well, we did find this season that we, we sort of went into some uncharted territory. We, we helped a couple that met on a fetish website um, for feederism, which is when one person enjoys supplying or providing food for the other in exchange for photos or videos of them eating it, um, which was pretty interesting uh, and created a pretty dynamic um, <laughs> relationship. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then hey, of course- If somebody wants to watch me eat, send me food. <laughs> I'm into that. I, I, hey, I'll send you a picture of yeah, me eating mean, whatever you cook uh, me. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, over, overall, we, we deal with a lot of very tense and complicated friendships. Uh, we've had episodes this season where it was you know old friends who had had a disagreement in the past. We did an episode um, that actually was one of the sort of happy endings where someone was just avoiding meeting up or talking on FaceTime because they had a speech impediment that they were very insecure about. So there's always different things that pop up on the show, which is why I think even after 12 years, people keep coming back for more because you never know what you're going to get. 12 years, season nine kicking wow. off. The way this society is going, Neve, I think this uh, show is safe for many years to come in the future. We'll be talking to you on uh, season 100. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot for joining us I this morning. I hope so. Really appreciate it.